Do you ever just wake up and feel like, I want to play The Sims? That is my mood today. I am not a builder. I am not good at building. I'm not good at decorating. I try really hard, but usually fail. And I like the idea of changing all the buildings and creating individual characters with unique stories. So I just thought today bees for some reason. Bees. I don't know why. This is Honey and Honey is crazy about bees. So I want to build a little tiny home. Honey homes are my favorite and a garden because she also loves flowers for her bees. So yeah, let's try to do that. So you want a tiny home residential. I may go for micro, but it might end up being the tiny home, not the micro home. We will see. Definitely not the small home though. I want it to be tier one or tier two. See what I can make. That is not correct. <laughs> Maybe I should take off this. May take me a couple of tries. Like I said, I'm not a builder. That is gonna make a really funky rooftop. Okay, let's not do that. I don't know why my game is so buggy. It's very strange. Well, this is tier one. So I saw this little hack by Storm Design and I really want to try it out because I think if it works, I might start using this for almost all my tiny builds. It's a loft bed. And I, I'm really surprised you could do this. I didn't know you could. I may have to move this, but you need to create a little space. I think I need to bring my wall high up as well. It's gonna be a very tall, tiny house. I need to raise this up maybe eight times. Now we need to add a bed. Now we need to add a half wall. Let me get some light in here. It looks something like this. Now I need to add stairs. I'm gonna do this very messily, by the way. I just wanna test it. There we go. Okay, I didn't go tall enough. All right, let's go a little bit taller. Stairs is at this wall height. Yeah, it looks about right there. Let me do this one more time. Now we're gonna draw a basement right underneath this. Oh, but that's going to affect our tiny house, huh? Now I need the shelf. Not sure which color I want to use. Maybe we'll just make it that. Let's see how many times I need to raise this up. All right, 32. Oh, it's way down there. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, that's 60. Just a few below 60. Looks pretty good. I wonder if I can add a little platform thing here. Might need to re-add the bed. Now it says you can add like a big doorway. So they get a desk added in here. And we can just push that backwards. They also added like a little rack on the side, kind of like this, but not this one. I don't have the one they added, but they did something like that. And they were also added like one little like storage thing. Just for the sake of testing it out. I'm going to do that and change the color of this. Okay, let's add a front door and let's test this out. First of all, let's go up here. Can you not go up here? Well, can you go in here? You can go in here. What is blocking you from coming up here though? I wonder if it's the wall height. Yes, okay, it's the wall height. Maybe I can lower this platform down a little bit. Okay, stop playing. We're researching. Go upstairs. Can you nap? She cannot use the bed. Maybe I'll try with a different bed. Okay, she's going to the bed. I guess it was that particular bed that they didn't like. Okay, she's not going to bed. I wonder if it's the shelves that are freaking her out. What did this person use? Now can you take a nap? Yes, you can. Okay, so it was the stuff underneath. So we need to be careful about what we put under there. So if I put this here, for example, can you nap? Yes. Is it this thing that's bothering you, I wonder? Are you okay? <laughs> I have broken her. Come back out. Oh my gosh, she's totally broken. Go here. Teleport here. Stop sleeping. Teleport here. Sit. She's teleporting again. 
Okay, let's not add that. Let's try adding the computer back. Bit. Let's test out the bathroom one. Let's add a whole shower. We can change this door. But I think I do need to move this again and then lift this up by one. This has to be tall wall height, unfortunately. It makes sense. It's kind of industrial loft, I guess you could say. So it's okay. So this is not touching. Okay, let's try that again. She cannot. You really have to push that far back. Try finding a bed that has like a very thin bed frame. For example, this air mattress works. Okay. <laughs> so it is possible to take a shower. It is possible to use the bed. I just wanted to check that little hack out real quick. I don't think it's going to work for what I want to do. So let's wrap this. Let's try that again. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the shape. Let's try to change that. I think I might actually like it sideways more. So let me move that. Raise it up and give it some stairs. So I really want to use this window. This one has really cute bee textures. Not sure which bee I will use, but definitely want to use the bee. I might be obnoxious and paint this whole thing yellow. It would be kind of cute if we made this side part a different color. Oh yeah, let's do orange. Let's add some pose. Can do these kind of like hexagon ones, maybe in white. Gonna move this to the back as well. I definitely want to get a couple of these. Oh, there is a delivery. Not sure uh, what's being downloaded today, but okay. I do want to add some wildflowers too. There's kind of like this little dirt path. I'm thinking I might do some kind of continuation of that. Maybe it can come like this and maybe there'll be like some kind of flower garden. We shall see. I feel like Honey likes to invite people to her house and talk to them about the bees. She likes to encourage her neighbors to grow flowers. I feel like she wants people to walk through and just appreciate the bees. Of course, the path will need to come to the front of the house as well. I'm getting ahead of myself. So we have some things to consider. Obviously the front door is gonna be here. Could use the orange version. I just wanna get a door. I think that's backwards though. That's super cute because she definitely likes flowers. I will get a couple of these as well. And maybe some of these. A little picnic area would be really cute. Bicycle would be cute too. So some of the essentials are obviously needing a place to sleep. Since we're only by ourselves, I'm not going to worry about a big bed for now. I may use a bunk bed just for space. I think this can work. I need a bathroom and I need a kitchen. Maybe the bed can go here. I believe we can make a bathroom like this, right? Okay, yeah, that's usable. Now, kitchen. I think the best place for the kitchen will be on this big back wall. I'll get the matching oven and fridge. Okay, maybe to do green. I know she's very yellow themed, but I'm thinking I want to, yeah, I want to take some of the colors. So let's do green. Let's go with the lighter wood. I think I want to separate these. So I could shove this back here. So let's say that's there. Is that still functional? Yeah. Okay. So I could cut this off. And now we just have room for a living room. Now I'm just going to use this to decorate. This is from Ravishing. I definitely want to decorate her place with a lot of flowers. I also got some really pretty pictures from the gallery with some no CC art that I want to use. I have a couple of different ones. So that is from the creator Holy Shmowow Art Set 1089. This is from the same creator 985. I want to grab this one. Might put this in the kitchen or somewhere else. Oh, there's little small ones on the back. Oh, that's even better. This is really pretty. Same creator, 1216. Again, I don't know which ones I'm going to use. I'm just going to take them now. We have some really cute vases. This is from Banshee HVO. There are two. Number one and number two. There are some really nice ones here. These are a bit too dark though. I'm not going to use those. There's another one. Might use this one. That is from the creator of Sensational 2, Word Art. This is also from Holy Shamwow, art set number 1252. I want to take this one. And let's take the small one this time. And maybe these roses. These are from 
Sensational too. Still no CC flowers. Oh, and I have another Holy Shamwow 1015. Those are the last two that I wanted to take. This is very cute. I like both of these. I think we have plenty of artwork. What is the vibe of this place? Are we thinking yellow? Kind of like it. Maybe a pastel yellow is a little bit better. Not as harsh. I'd also go with a green. Cream color would be really pretty. Paintings look very well on this color. Okay, maybe try that. I always struggle with floors. I don't know why. I can never understand what looks good. Like, do I want dark floors or lighter floors? I never know. Maybe I can find a different couch. That could work. There's quite a bit of like orange and purple and stuff. I know, sorry, I know this wall is in the way, but I still need it for decorating. Kind of thinking of making something custom. Oh, if that was shorter, that would be perfect. Oh, you know what? This could actually work, maybe. We can stick the TV on top of that, and we can still put some stuff on top. And I can use this to add more things. So for example, I don't want to slot this. Let's say I want it on the top. It's not slotting on the top. You can slide this up, try to get it as even as possible. So you can put it here, and now we can hold all, and we can put it up there. And it shouldn't be floating. Yep. It's not floating. I've seen someone mention this cube doing the same thing with this one. So let's see. You can move that in there, get this even. Then we can move that, hold alt, and then place it where you want. So technically you don't need the mod. I just have this. I think you can put more items on this shelf. Normally what you would do with this as well is you would put this somewhere, put whatever items you want on top and just leave the shelf there. But if I leave the shelf, it's gonna count as having custom content, which I don't want to happen. Maybe I'll make this a little bit darker. Now I'm kind of thinking, what do I wanna put on top of this? Maybe some more plants. Let's find some cute stuff. Ooh, these sunflowers are pretty. Let's add that to the list. These are showing as like too big, but I'm sure we can add that to the top. Maybe I'll hang that somewhere else. But I think it would be really nice debug stuff on. Yeah, there's these little flower arrangements. I would like to add one of those too, though. This would be cute, like on the door or something, but I don't like when there's like flowers floating in the air. Maybe I'll do something different with it, though. Like maybe I can add them here. Might be too much. I do want to add a flower arranging table as well. Maybe we can add some of these. Because I want this character to not only be obsessed with bees, but also she maintains flowers and she has a bunch of flowers for her bees. So she's also into making flower arrangements, kind of like a side business, maybe. Maybe we can add these books in here somewhere too. That would be kind of cute. I just realized we don't have a sink. Let's get a sink in this kitchen. There we go. I'm also gonna change this door. Yeah, that's okay. To get a rug, I'm missing a rug. I'm like, this looks a little bit weird. It's because I don't have a rug. This one could be nice for layering. Maybe I can use that. Okay, let's grab the shelf. Let's get it up even with this one. I think I'll move this somewhere else too. Definitely add some art back here. I could just add this here as well. We have some small spaces, so let me see what I can find for that. There we go. It's too bad there's not more bee stuff or like things that have bees. Oh, this is really pretty. I can add that up top. And I do need a bookcase. I might add this down here. Maybe not that one. Oh yeah, perfect. These little plants, maybe. I might add a small desk. Is that the same color wood? The wood is not a perfect match. Pretty close though. But I could add this to the corner. Does she get a book from here though? Ooh, she can. Okay, perfect. Maybe I'll use the main ones up here. I think I'll go with the typewriter. I'll go with the pink. Can you fit there? Yeah. Maybe I'll center this a little bit. Oh yeah, I can get rid of this. Maybe I can use these. I'm thinking to maybe just use this little guy. Classic, <laughs> typical lamp. I might could just stick a lamp up here. Let's use that. I can use these in the bed. Maybe I'll add lights back there. Kind of helps with that area. I'll add these down here. This guy can come to the kitchen. I'm not crazy about this. How can I make you look prettier? Let's try this one though. Let's rotate it by 90. I think that's pretty good. At least I could cover up those books, right? What about the other swatches? Maybe white is better. 
My build mode is broken. These things came back to my inventory. In order to make sure <laughs> that nothing is going to fly off, I'm going to have to use a tool mod, I think. Fire? How did you start a fire? Oh my god. Alrighty then. You deserve that. I'm trying to decorate your house. Okay, that seems okay. Honey, you have problems. You already have so many problems. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Maybe a different wall color could be cool. Or any cool like flower pattern. Oh, that's too much. I mean, this could be cute somewhere else. Like maybe the bedroom or bathroom or kitchen. Kind of almost like the dark pink. I could also do a different color on the wall. Like one accent wall maybe. I love these two. These two are a very cute set. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this corner though. This is also a nice orange. Maybe I can make like a corner gallery here. You're kind of orange. I can get some kind of table for the corner. Oh, this would be pretty too. What if I stuck that here? I can put something on top. Oh my gosh, the bed also burned. Replace that. What burned? Did it burn an art? I could definitely put that up there. I could put a little mini cow plant here. Okay, I have all three books laying around here. Living room is looking pretty good. Let's get a different ceiling light. I kind of like this with these colors. I just have this corner. Can I change this to white? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move that to the kitchen for now. I have an orange corner. Maybe I can make a little pink corner. Maybe we can do two big ones here put the hearts there. Maybe this could be cool. Still doesn't have a bee on it. Guess I'm asking for too much. I just want a bee. I really wish this wasn't red. The bottom is still empty. Oh, that's floating. <laughs> I can fix that. I forgot about that one. No floating objects. I really love this corner. Those are not even. What kind of things could I put here? I wonder. Should I give her a little pillow? Okay, she's cooking again. That's a little bit scary. Can you meditate? She's all good to meditate in her little corner. I think I'm pretty happy with this right now, so I'm gonna move on. Let's go to the kitchen, which may have burned something down. And I realize we don't have any windows either. Maybe I can put one window here. I didn't really think about windows. Since I'm not like a huge fan of this, let's get rid of that. Let's just move the mirror. Then how about I just size this down. And now we can add windows. I think that's okay. Not super excited about this corner, but I'm going to do. I didn't want to delete these. Maybe I want to come back and size them up and do something with them. I guess I'll move that to the kitchen. Okay, I think I'm going to have to move this. I prefer the window to be over the sink. Does that make any sense? Probably not. But uh, I like it. It's cute. I like it. Really, I wanted to figure out something to do with that box. That's what my brain wanted to do, so it's gonna go there. I got distracted by the bathroom, so that's where I'm at now. The kitchen is gonna require a lot of decorating, so I think I just want to come in here and finish it off. I would like something different in the bathroom, but I just can't find exactly what I'm looking for and upgrade the toilet. And add that one. I really want to put some flowers in here. Does it make any sense? No. Doesn't everyone have bathroom flowers? Get a toilet paper roll. Okay, I'm gonna start getting items for little small places. I don't know if all these items will stay because I know some of these debug items will disappear. Okay, let's find some shelving to go in here. Would that be better, maybe? Oh, this is cute. Okay, never mind. Maybe I can use this. Okay, I have all of this added now. Looking a lot more lively in here. <laughs> oh, that would be perfect for up there. 
My sim is bugged out. Are you okay? You don't seem okay. I just need a carpet in the kitchen. I know there's a lot of debate on putting carpet in the kitchen or not, but kind of the normal thing to do where I live. So I'm gonna add one. Also, it just helps with the floor. The floor's a little bit empty. Maybe I'll put it here in front of the kitchen sink. This can fit on the wall perfectly. Can you come in here? Can you cook a fruit salad? Okay, she's having trouble for some reason. Why is that? That's strange. Normally, when you add items like hovering, it won't affect the cooking process. That's super weird. It's just a big one. Let's also have her cook a grilled cheese and hopefully not burn the place down. Of course, <laughs> I'll just load back in. Can't be having any burned houses. In the bedroom, I think I will just add a dresser. And we have a little bee pet. I think I'll move these lights to a different place. Where did I put the lights? Oh, my window disappeared. Why did my window disappear? Very rude. Maybe I'll add one in the back here. We do need a light in here. There's not much to do in the bedroom. It's just the place to sleep. The bathroom is decorated more nicely, but hey, we have a bee. I put a little flower arrangement in there. Those are her two hobbies. Yeah, I think I'm feeling pretty okay about this. I mean, this is a tiny house, so there's not a lot to work with. If I had a bigger space for the bedroom, I would do a lot more, but I think that's pretty good. Now let's work on the outside. Oh boy. Maybe I will map out a little place to move the house. Oh, did it all stay? Oh good, it all stayed. Okay, cool. I should move the house up a little bit. We need a path coming out. And then I would kind of like the path go this way. And there to be like a little kind of area here then come back this way this can be the flower arrangement area and then continuing this way and have that come like that oh gosh they're two different colors huh kind of annoying the blue and pink are on the same color pole did i just do blue and pink then Maybe it's not so bad. Bees could hang out in here. Oh, let's check the pink and blue again. It's becoming quite colorful over here. Maybe it's not that bad. There is this debug one. I thought maybe I would also include it over here. I wish these came in different colors. I think I want to add a tree here at the front. This could be nice. The only bad thing is I cannot see what everything's going to look like right now because it's spring and even though it's spring it's still cold and I uh, can't see the flowers making things a little bit difficult. This yard is going to look like it needs a lawnmower basically. <laughs> I just want a bunch of flowers. Watch this look nothing as I picture in my head. I realize some things that I'm grabbing are debug and some are not. I'm a little bit all over the place. These trees are touching a little bit in the front. I'm gonna get a different tree, I think. This one is smaller and cute. I removed the two bushes because they were a little bit awkward. <laughs> I've been playing for five hours. So yeah, this is Honey. And this is her home. She has a love for bees. The house can expand. This can expand. The inside is very small, very cute, very organized. Like I said, I am not a builder. This is about as good as it's gonna get for me. I'm happy with the character. I'm happy with all of her outfits and everything. I think she's super cute. She's very outgoing and she's a little upset right now. So this is my little tiny house build, my little bee house for honey. Hopefully this build was not too disappointing.
I hope to make my whole entire world just nothing but tiny houses. So now that I fixed my urge to play The Sims, that's pretty much it. We're done. So thanks for watching.